This is Chris Brown again, and I'm coming to you live for the Penrose reunion. I'm sitting here with Muffet, and uh, today we're just going to be talking about where we at with this reunion. So just please stay tuned, and we're going to ask Muffet some questions, and we'll just let her uh, tell everybody, give everybody updates of what's happening, and uh, uh, so we can get this union off the ground. Stay tuned. Okay, Miss Muffet. Uh, I just want to know where are we at right now with the um, Penrose reunion if you can let the people know Okay, this is where we are. First of all guys. We had 12 days 12 days and the reunion will be here Let me just let you know what we're doing. We have already rented the tables and the chairs We are in the process of purchasing the food and off and myself will go out uh, Saturday and Sunday to get the rest of the food. Most of the food have already been purchased. Right now, I'm in the middle of contacting people to get a final count. For those folks who are on Facebook, some of you I have already contacted individually on your Facebook page to ask you the count of people that are coming under your household. For those folks that are not on Facebook, I will contact you via phone to get that information. I'm not there yet, but I got the bulk of the people who are already on Facebook. And for those people who are on Facebook that I have not gotten in contact with, I'm in the process of contacting you. So don't panic. I'm going to get to you. There's a lot of people that have submitted their monies and I'm going through the receipt book. And so I'm going name by name and um, individual pages on Facebook. And then I'm also called the folks who are, who are not on Facebook. Um, Lisa will be coming into town today, May 17th. She will be in this evening. And when she gets in, um, probably Thursday, we will have some more running around to do to try to finish up the last last pieces of, um, of the reunion. There's still some things that has to be done, but we know we're going to get it all in by the 28th. The 21st will be another cleanup day. Um, I have posted it on Facebook to let you guys know that we would clean up around one o'clock. Um, we will do that on Saturday. That's the 21st. And then all through the week, Lisa and I and whoever else is home during the day can feel free to come out because Lisa and I will come out every day and just pick up stuff and just double check the wall each day to make sure that um, more trash is picked up and kind of look at where we're going to uh, set things up. But we are definitely moving forward to this reunion, looking forward to this reunion. And also, um, there's a young man by the name of John Carl Starfin who used to live in the area. Um, he's going to do a documentary on this entire neighborhood. So he did send a shout out on Facebook. He wants to meet with some of the parents um, who still live in the neighborhood and talk to them in reference to what it was like when they moved into the neighborhood. He's going to also start interviewing some of us. Um, the committee and some of the folks who are still living here in the neighborhood. So this is a very exciting time for us. And um, another thing that the committee is doing, we're in the process of, of getting all the paper goods, the paper plates, the forks, the cups, the beverages, all the stuff that we need. So um, it's a working process. And every day we do work, then we know each day that we do a little bit of work, then we'll have less to do come that Saturday. We do anticipate that. The committee probably will be running around to the last minute, but you know what? It's all worth it because um, I know that you guys are going to really, really have a good time, and it's, it's going to be nice. The whole setup is really going to be nice. So let me just reiterate, for those folks who are on Facebook and who have not sent their money in as of yet, I'm still collecting the money. Um, if, if you're on Facebook, you know I still send shout outs saying that you can send the money to me. I give you my address. I also give you my phone number. If you need to call me, my number is 267-334-5443. Call me and just say, Muff, I got the money. It's, it's coming. Or, you know, I'll drop it by your house. Or can you meet me someplace to get the money? That is not a problem. Um, so for those folks who still want to send in money, you can contact me. You can contact anybody on Facebook or anybody that you see in the neighborhood because for real, it's been going around word of mouth is how I have been getting some of the money from the folks who are not on Facebook. So this is where we are. We are um, just moving along and like I said, this is going to be a really, really nice event and I hope that everyone um, can come out and, and just, just have a good time, meet and greet, network with folks and just have a good time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in the next few minutes, 
I'm going to take you on a little tour of some of the local hotels in this area for people that are coming out of town if you'd like to stay there. And if Muffet, if you can let the people know uh, some of the hotels that you guys already have booked up. Okay, we have uh, two hotels that we're going to utilize for that event. We have the Sheraton um, Four Points, which is at um, Island Road, at the end of Island Road, is right across from the Hilton. And then we also have the Renaissance Hotel, which is on 291. That's the hotel that's surrounded by the water. It's not far from the airport. It's on 291. We have like 10 rooms blocked off for both of those um, for both of those hotels, for those who want to stay at those hotels. There's plenty of other hotels, like Chris said, it's all up and down Bartram Avenue. If you feel you want to stay there, you can. But I'm just letting um, everyone know that there's two hotels that we have rooms um, that are already blocked off. Uh, for the uh, the family reunion. Um, another thing that we are going to look into, which is what I forgot to mention, we are going to look into the parking situation because um, we realize everybody's not going to be able to park up and down 68th Street, Breeby Place, French Place, Ivers Place. Um, we're going to see if we can utilize that parking lot right across the street um, uh, at 6th Avenue and Lindbergh. Not the church. There's a new church there, but the other building next to the church, it used to be a silos a long, long, long time ago. It's, it's, some, it's another building now. I'm going to go over there tomorrow and see if we can utilize that parking lot um, um, for the event. And once I find out, I will um, get back to you guys on Facebook, put a shout out, and let you know. Okay? So I'll <laughs> see you there. Okay, guys, stay tuned uh, for the clip right now, the local hotels.